Just a few hay bales. Hey, brook, brook. Don't get too comfortable. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to fence this off. Yeah. If they're gonna free range. Um, That's not for you. Can, can I please go, go, go in your gloves? Sure. Well, I got this big bit. You do. In one of my other videos, I showed you the duck enclosure finished. Um, Andy's just put this roof on, just tilted it ever so slightly, want to catch the water off the back, just give them a little spot, even though they love water, just gives them an area that's free from rain. Hey duck duck! Had, as I said before, heaps of rain the last few days. Got heaps of spots that are flooded, but they love it. Hey, duck duck. You can see through there all the water. You want to come out? Come on, duck duck. Duck, duck, duck. Obviously, because the ducks are right there and we like them to free range. You can probably see where we've cut the grass there. We're actually going to fence all of this area off just with chicken wire star pickets from chicken wire just so that we can be sure that when we let them out they're not going to eat all of our produce and it's just mowing the lawn as you can hear A few weeks ago we laid 21 hay bales down, so we've got three rows of seven and the sheep poo has been on there now for about a week and we've had some really heavy rains so they're really moist, really soaked in and ready for planting. I bought these seedlings the other day. I normally grow my own seedlings but I got a little bit impatient this time and I've just gone and buy, bought some and I'm just going to put them in here so just broccoli and cauliflower because it's winter and it's so cold we'll just give that a go these ones over here these were all grown from oh sorry they were seedlings from the shop as well I always get impatient but these ones on the side these ones were grown from seed one was another one from seed that got planted earlier so they're just all at different stages so they'll all ripen differently 
I've just some of them are starting to form heads. A little one in there. And I've got to try and remember where they were now. Another one there. And there's some more grown from seed just on the side there. Brussels sprouts coming along nicely. I tried picking them the other day but they're stuck in there hard so I don't think they're quite ready. One whole, whole row of broccoli, about 16 in there, cauliflower, and then a mix of both. Andy's come along and mowed between the rows again, really short. We'll be able to keep just walking through there.